Today is July 25th, and as usual, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So, this is Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Starting things off with this week's ultimate reward, I believe it's going to be the Solarian Legend coating for the sniper rifle. However, I cannot confirm that as of right now. The, cha the shop has only just reset, so there's about another hour until challenges and stuff do. I do think it's this, but just fair warning, I could be wrong entirely. That's the thing with leaks. They're not always accurate, and there'll be a bit more on that later on. Anyway, first things first, the Dragonborn Super Bundle is still here, and if you're curious, this contains the Red Waters Bundle, the Kawari Bundle, and the Crimson Dawn Bundle, as well as granting players the G Gansai Gear Legendary Mythic Effect Set and the Dragonborn Noble Shoulder Pads. The Super Bundle is 3400 and the bundles all have their own individual prices. I go over them in more detail in last week's shop video, so check that out if you haven't already. Anyway, as for today's daily, we have the return of the Vigilant Sniper Bundle, and this is a bundle I actually forgot existed. This costs 400 credits, gives you the orange chestnut coating for the sniper rifle, the fossil tree epic stance, and the vigilance armor emblem, nameplate, vehicle emblem, and weapon emblem. For 400, I do think this is pretty overpriced. This is on sale by 20%, but it is just a single weapon coating, a stance, and an emblem, and I just think 400 is a very overpriced price. Splash Zone is also back this week. I believe this is one of the first bundles released this season. It gives you the Splash Zone weapon coating for every weapon, and the Gauss Soda Epic Charm. I do like the design overall, I don't think it's a bad coating. 800 is a bit pricey for just a coating bundle, uh, but it's definitely not the worst. And like I say, you do get the coating on everything, it does look pretty good. And that's the returning bundle, so that will change on Friday. As for the rest of the stuff on the shop, we do have a few more returns before we talk about what's new. Starting with the Meditative State bundle, on sale for 500 credits. This gives you the Expressive Soul Armor Coating, the Imperial Crest Legendary Helmet Attachment for the default Yoroi Helmet. You also get the Mirror Tail Rare Stance and the Black Opal Weapon Charm. I think this was originally released at like a thousand credits and was then brought down to 600, which I think is its regular price if you want to buy it in the catalogue. Five, for 500, I don't think this is a terrible deal whatsoever. I like the helmet attachment, I think the coating's nice, these stands and the charm are also cool. I'm not necessarily saying this is good value, there is definitely better options, but I don't think this is terrible. Next up is the return of the Silent Sentry set, also on sale for 800 credits. This gives you the Wet Crow armor coating for Yoroi, the Mark 5B and the Mark 7, as well as the Shadow Crow shoulder pads for Yoroi, the Sparrow Temple chest piece, which is one of my favorites for the core. You also get the Shadow Raven knee pads and the House of Warriors emblem for 800. Pretty solid bundle, I do like the armor pieces you get for Yoroi, and the coating is pretty nice too. Wet Crow is definitely a favorite of mine, and seems to be a pretty popular one within the community. Next up is the Enlightened Path bundle, also returning on sale for 800 credits. With this, you get a Legendary Mythic Effect set, which is the Enlightened Path set, and then you get the Grand Play Emblem. I think for 800, since you are essentially just getting an effect and an emblem, this should probably only be about 500. I definitely think 800 is pushing it, but that is a nice reduction from its original price. And then we have the Doom and Bloom bundle. Fun fact about this one, it used to show a battle rifle coating in the preview image that actually wasn't in the bundle, and it looks like 343 have fixed this, which is actually nice to see. You get the Enlightened Blossoms kill effect for 600 credits, and the Grasp the Sword emblem. Uh, this is a bit better than Enlightened Path, I think, as far as value goes. Both are effects. This one is a little bit cheaper, but I do think both should only really cost about 500. Anyway, that covers all of the returning bundles, so now we can move on to the new stuff, starting with the Otomosho bundle. Honestly, with this one, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't release yet, as I wanted them to spread the rest of the new Tenrai stuff to the Tenrai 3 event, just so we're consistently getting new stuff in the store. But regardless, in this bundle, you get the Worthy Opponent Epic Armor Coating, which is a very interesting one. It's a purple digital camo with some gold details on the arms and the helmet. It doesn't look bad, it just feels like a very weird choice for a Tenrai-themed set. You do get this coating for every core. It does look pretty nice on some of them. It also comes with the Semblance Visor, which matches the coating nicely. The Wave Slicer Shoulder Pads, which is interesting, and I will explain why in a moment. You also get the Graceful Leaves Utility Piece, which on the preview shows on both sides. However, you can get on the spawn, it only shows it on one, so I don't know what the deal with that is. You also get the Sharpened Crescent Knee Pads, the Staff Meeting Stance, which actually looks awesome. Then you get the Otomosho Helmet, which is, again, another very weird one, but that comes with the Tengu's Gift Helmet Attachment. You also get the Wisps Epic Backdrop and the Shuruken Emblem. 1,500 credits for this. 
definitely a pricey bundle, but it does come with a lot of content. You do get some really cool pieces for Yoroi. Uh, the helmet is interesting. Not saying it's bad, just not to my taste. And the coating is pretty nice. You get it for every core. Now, the reason I say it's interesting is the Wave Slicer shoulder pads were believed to be a part of the Tenrai 3 event. And that's why I mentioned earlier, leaks are not always reliable. But I did think these were genuinely going to be a part of it as they were shown in the event image on like the season overview. So it led a lot of people to believe that this would be a part of that Tenrai 3 event. So it's very interesting to see that they're not. And I'm very curious to see what will take their place instead. And it does mean I will have to make an updated video on the event and I'll do that at a later date. Anyway, moving on, we have the Cosmic Dawn bundle, which is another pretty big bundle coming with quite a lot of stuff. In this, you get the Cosmic Dawn armor coating, again, for every weapon core. Really not a fan of this one. Again, it's got a pretty interesting design, but not one that I'm a fan of whatsoever. This does come with the Barista helmet, which actually doesn't look too bad. This is one that I didn't think I'd like, but I, I don't hate it. It's not one I probably, it's probably not one I use, but it's not bad. You also get the Thorn Blade Brace shoulder pads, and these are kind of cool. You also get the Letter Opener's chest piece, so if you're a fan of knives, here's a bunch more. Then there is also a weapon coating that again, you get for every weapon. It does fit with the theme of the bundle, but probably not a coating that I would use myself. And then you get the Otherworld emblem, which again, you get as an armor emblem, vehicle emblem, nameplate, and weapon emblem, the minimal space backdrop, and the weather vane visor, which was also supposed to be a part of Tenrai 3. For 1,600, I think overall you could argue this is better for value than Otomoshu. That bundle only comes with 21 items, whereas this one comes with 27 because you get the extra weapon coatings, you get the visor, well, I mean, both get a visor. But overall, I guess, I guess it just depends on preference and whether or not you'd even want to buy any of these in the first place. There is definitely, once again, a ton of stuff here on the shop, but I think that just about covers all of it. This is the final week of the Tenrai 2 event, so if you haven't done your event pass yet, I would recommend getting that finished. But anyway, to close things off, we have this week's Spartan of the Week. This week we have a very pretty Yoroi entry from Miss Fine. I thought I'd pick a Tenrai spawn again with the Tenrai event going on. I love the use of the coating, it matches with the visor nicely, and they're also using that helmet attachment for the default helmet, as well as making use of some of the newer armor pieces. Overall, solid Tenrai build. If you want the chance to be featured as the spawn of the week, make sure to join the Discord. I will leave a link to that in the pinned comment. And just one final thing I'd like to mention, tomorrow we will be doing our 5,000 subscriber live stream. I'll be rating every spawn that was submitted, and there's a lot. I think we have almost 400 submissions. The stream should begin at 8.30pm UK time, so make sure to tune in if you have the time. I'd really appreciate having a few people to talk to, and that makes me sound really lonely. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one.